So this is part of my show at Carroll Community College. This is, I don't know if you know the name of it, I think it's White Sand Blue Water, a painting I did in March, and based on our trip to Vieques last year. I'm just going to move right through these, not even look at the titles. You can hear the sound of students in the background. This is a big, beautiful space full of light. This is also... Um, a memory of Vieques and the gorgeous water. This is almost, mm, this is Wellfleet, Massachusetts. Just the way it looks near Carl's parents' house when you walk to the beach and you come upon that nice little swoop with grasses. It doesn't look exactly like this, but this is pretty close to what it feels like with that island in the distance. going close to this because this is me kind of playing with with uh, footsteps that you see on the beach. You can see them in there. How close can I get? Oh, okay, you can really see some of the detail of the painting here. This is big. 16 by 16 inches. All encaustic. This is one of my favorites. We made the card out of this. I'm going to go in close to this. Hopefully you can see the texture. This is called Vieques Island. Just this. Maggie Ball, who put the show together, installed this and she just did a beautiful job. So everything along this wall goes together. It's a couple more. Somebody wrote in the guest book questioning, like, what were these lumps? Like, what were these lumps and pearl? She obviously was dismayed with the um, playfulness of these. I'm going to go in close so you can see them. So that's what they are, playfulness. Let's see, we've got blue glass, a turquoise, pearl. And, you know, it's the light on the water and the waves on the beach, and it's playful. Another one called, I think it's called Vieques Island 2. So these are some dunes. I guess these are more recent. These are fairly recent. I love the dunes in Cape Cod. This is called, I think this is just Truro Dunes. This one, let's see what the title is of this. Probably Truro Dunes, something like Truro Dunes 5, I think. It's almost like a piece of the other one one of my recent favorites. I have a few favorite ones. This is really has some of the kind of breadth and mm, texture and I really like this one. There's the way the little bits of green growing in the dunes look, how mysterious they look because you think it's going to be all sand and yet there's green all over the place and other colors too. This is an older painting called January. Very highly textured, mm, based on one of my many stays at the Virginia Center for Creative Arts. There's a lot of sun in here today. This is Tree Line 1. This is another bunch of work at Carroll Community College, which I'm going to go up to shortly. Another beautiful wall put together by Maggie. All water. I'm going to go up to the first one. I can't remember the name of it, but clearly, I think we called it white caps. I think I'll go closer because some of these white caps, I guess they're not. I originally had pieces of shell in there. I don't think it's in there anymore. I think I took the shell out and then, oh, wow, this looks so amazing. And I tried to duplicate the way the shells look because they were perfect as waves. There's no shells left in there. This one, P-Town 23. One of my previous collectors bought this. She's had her eye on it for years, and she finally just came right over to the opening and grabbed it. This doesn't need a title, but definitely um, I couldn't have done this without the ferry ride over to Provincetown one year, and how the water was just everywhere around. 
I'm a deprived water person, having grown up by the Mississippi River. A little bit of brown water. A lot of brown water, but nothing like this. No blue water. No distant islands. This one has that playful quality, which I like to play with the edge of using materials. Uh, when they work well in the expression, there's some beads in here somewhere. Let's see if I can get really close to the beads. Yeah, those are two beads. I don't like to use them, like to have a whole bunch of beaded stuff and like a, a work that's about kitsch. Uh, okay, I'm finishing up my discussion of this piece, which as I was saying before, has in it some beautiful little blue beads, which are supposed to be just part of the water. Obviously, this is referring to the way sunlight glistens on the water. You can really see the detail of the encaustic here. So let's move on to this one. This is Memory of Maine and Acadia. It also has a few little bits of bead, very subtle in there. Actually part of a necklace that belonged to my aunt many, many years ago. There's one more water piece on this wall. P-Town 21. I think I'll go in a little bit too on this one. You can see that scratching and how I use the material.